Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will start learning how do we interact with elements on a web page and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and do not worry if you are a complete beginner I will tell you everything from scratch and we will go up step by step. So uh, let's first open our project. So this is the Selenium Python project we started in the last session and uh, in the last session we created a very quick test to open google.com so today I will create a new file a new script so I will click on the project do a right click and say new and file and uh, let me name this as elements.py okay so here I am going to write the code to interact with elements and I can just copy the initial code until here because I am just going to do the same thing until here that is create an instance for web driver and then go to the website so all this we have learned and we have discussed in detail in the last session so just in case you face any issues you can check the last session and from here we will continue so we are going to this uh, link this web page google.com and then we will try to find some elements and do some action on the elements and then later on we will go to a different website and try some more options so let us just go to this google.com so here it is and then so if I run this particular test I can also add some time dot sleep to wait for let's say two seconds if I run this I will do a right click and say run elements just to check if this is all working fine yes it goes to google google.com and waits for two seconds and then closes so after going here let's say I want to find out this search box I have to write something on this search box and hit the search button and to do any action on any element on a web page we first need to find that particular element and to find the particular element we have some properties so if you do a right click on the element let's say this is the search box I will do a right click and say inspect and you can see here we have got this section that corresponds to this search box now here you can see we have so many options here so the there is a, a class property uh, ID property then we have max length we also have name property so these are the different properties of this particular element so here every element on a web page has some properties and based on these properties or using these properties we can find that particular element or we can create a locator to find that element and then do action on that element in automation using selenium okay so here let's say uh, I have got this ID property here and if you find ID that is mostly the best option to use so here what I can do is I will say driver dot find and you can see here we have find element and find elements function these two functions can be used to find elements on the web page find element will find a single element and to find more than one elements you can use the find elements function so for now I will go with find element and then I will say by by is a class in selenium and then I will say dot now you can see it says uh, it is not able to find by it is unresolved so if you hover over it you can see it says unresolved reference by you can either import this or you can see more actions so this is uh, what I want I want this class to be imported from selenium web driver so I will click here and you can see here it has imported the by class from selenium web driver and now if you again 
type by and dot you will see all the options so we can find elements using x path class name name id tag name css selector link text partial link text etc so this time i'm going to use id i will say id and then comma and then in the quotes i will give the value of id now this is how we use it in the latest version of selenium that is selenium 4 which i am using just in case you are using selenium 3 or earlier version there can be a little change in syntax that you can find online but this is what we will use in the latest version so this is the id i will copy the id property from here this is what what i want and i will paste it here okay so this statement will find the search box on the google.com web page now if i want after searching after finding the element we have to do some action so if i want i can continue here itself i can say after this i want to uh, you know type something for that the function is send keys or i can store this separately in a variable i will say element equals or i can say google search box i am you can give some meaningful names and this is the locator and then using this variable google search box i can further add the action that is send keys and let's say i want to type automation here so i'm saying send keys automation and after that we also want to click on the google search button so again i will do a right click here and say inspect and here i have got this all these properties for google search button and here uh, we have the name option so you can see here there is the name option present or the name value uh, let me do it again i will inspect and here we have name property which is btnk so let me use this one i will say after typing automation in the search box i will say driver dot find element and i will say by dot name you can just hit enter to auto complete and then the name is btnk make sure uh, you type with the correct cases cases are important so you can see here it is btn and k is in upper case and after finding this i just want to click so i will say click okay so let's save this i am pressing ctrl s on my keyboard and I can now directly hit this run button because it is elements is already selected this file or you can do a right click and then run it so let's see it goes to google.com types automation and then hits the search button and waits for two seconds and closes so this is working fine now generally while doing the search manually what I will do is I will type automation here and then hit the enter key on my keyboard right that is something we can also do with selenium and in automation so i will type something and then just hit the enter key on the keyboard and for that i do not need this that is clicking on the search button so i am just going to comment this out i am pressing ctrl forward slash on my keyboard and i just want to press the enter key within the google search box itself so i will say google search box dot send keys and i will use the keys class of selenium and then say dot now you can see as of now it is not recognized so you can hover over it and let's say if it finds the options to import yes you can see this is coming from the selenium web driver keys class so i will click this and here it will import you can see it has imported the keys class from selenium web driver now if i again type keys and say dot here you can see 
I have all the options to press return that is enter key F1, F2, arrow up, arrow down, backspace, escape etc. So I will say return. I will save and run again and let us see if this works. And yes, it works. It typed automation and hit enter which went to the search results page okay so this is working fine and this is uh, how you can find elements now uh, let us see some more options I am going to a different web page I am going to this try testing this which is a demo practice automation site and I will try to find some elements and do action here now this is a demo site just in case at your time it is not up or is, is not available you can try it on any other website or you can just go with google.com for now in the coming sessions we will see some more options some more examples so for now you can continue with whatever you have so here uh, I will first go to this link so I will say let me say driver dot get and here I will go to this link try testing this I am also uh, commenting out this section of google.com so that it does not always go here and we will have to invest some time so I am selecting this and pressing control forward slash on my keyboard I will uncomment this later but for now let us focus on this and here after going here uh, let's say I want to type first name and last name so you can do a right click and say inspect now uh, do not worry you do not have to every time manually find uh, you know locators find values and then you know create locators I will tell you options and ways how you can do it automatically I will also show you how you can record all this and you will uh, not have to manually you know even find and do actions but for now for learning you must know all these uh, ways how these uh, web elements are located how the locators are created how these are found so here for this particular first name text box we have got this ID here so I will use the ID I will say driver dot find element by dot ID and I will use the ID value and here I am continuing in the same line I will say dot send keys and I will type the first name uh, Raghav similarly I will type the last name here so let me again go to the last name right click inspect and here again we have got the ID property so you can see here it is it is L name I'm going to copy this and I will say here driver dot find element by dot ID and then I will give the value of the ID and then dot send keys and the value okay after this let's say uh, so you can see we have so many options here we have an alert button uh, we have image we have radio buttons we have options and then we have multi select options we have check boxes then we have this autofill box here then we have these date pickers ranges file upload text box text area and submit button here we have the uh, login as well you can see here there's a login page as well okay and let's say I want to go down and click on this submit button so if I do a right click and say inspect so here uh, you can see we do not have any direct way so we do not do not have ID we do not have uh, name etc so if you find something like this that any of your element on the web page does not have a direct 
property like id name etc then we can create a x path so we can say driver dot find element by dot x path and then we can give the value of the x path so x path basically is on this page so you can see this page is a, a created with x path you can see this is a x path format so we can create a path on this page that will locate this particular element okay this particular element so we can give the path all the way to this particular element so we can start with html then go with body then go with div and finally go with this uh, section field set and then in this section we can find a uh, element of type button and then we can you know use any of these options properties to find this particular element however that will be a uh, very time consuming and not a very good way so we create relative x path that is instead of going all the way from the top we just use relative x path that is find this particular element on the web page with some particular properties or values and it will find it now here i have created a tutorial as well on this so if you go on my website that is automationstepbystep.com uh, here if you scroll down you will see this section this link xpath and web locators and this will take you to my youtube playlist so it will take you here so here you can see first video how to create xpath here i have explained uh, step by step for complete beginners what is xpath how do we create it what is a relative x path what is a absolute x path there are other videos as well which may not be required so uh, Escree was a very good plugin on chrome that we could use to you know very quickly generate x paths but this is no longer available uh, selectors hub is again very good option which is available you can check this and i will tell you about this later uh, so for now you can go with this first video in case you are a complete beginner and want to learn how to create xpath in the coming sessions i will tell you the ways how you can automatically generate xpath and you will not have to manually do it but for now let us come back so here i can either manually generate xpath or i can do a right click here and i will go to copy and we have options copy element copy outer html copy selector so I'm on Chrome and this is what I'm doing. I uh, right clicked on the element and said inspect. I came here, I did a right click here and then copy and we have got this copy xpath option. So if I say copy xpath and I paste it here. So you can see this is giving me a absolute xpath. That is it is starting right from the top of the page, HTML going to body, then div3, div2, then form, then field set. So it is going all the way from here, HTML, body, then div2, div3, then going to field set. Then here it is coming down all the way to this button. And then it is saying, uh, you know, under field set section, there is a button element or element of type button. We have to go there. So this will be time consuming and not a very good way. It can be brittle. It can break. Uh, whenever there are any changes on the page so therefore we you we do not use or we do not suggest to use absolute x paths so i will create a relative x path so for that what we can do is i will give a double forward slash this is for a relative x path and then here we have this button section so i will say go to this section on the page and then i will use some property we have the class here so this is what i can use i can say here find an element which has this property class and its value should be 
I will just copy the value which is BTN BTN success uh, I will copy again and paste it sorry let me say let me just say BTN success okay and then I want to click on it so I will just say dot click okay and I will also add a sleep time for let's say two seconds So I will say time dot sleep okay it's, it has come here copied here okay so I will save and let's try to run it now and check I will click on the run button okay so it opens google.com uh, no so it went there yeah it was very fast let me you know try to copy the time dot sleep before the step of clicking on the submit button I will save and I will run again so let's check this time okay uh, I don't know if it ran or not I will run it now and yes it goes opens the browser types first name and then clicks on the submit button I think uh, here I made a mistake it is typing both Raghav and Pal on the same text box because I did not change it here it is L name so I will save now and again run and check so it types first name last name it is fine and then clicks on submit button which takes to the google.com page and then exits okay so this is fine now just in case if you make any mistake in the X path or the locator any locator let's say uh, I'm typing this BTN BTN success one which is an invalid locator invalid value of this class and if I now try to run this let's see what happens so it entered first name last name and now it is trying to find the element but it did not find and you can see here it says it has failed here and it, it says no such element exception so unable to locate the element with this particular locator so this will happen whenever selenium is not able to find the element using the locator that you have provided and there can be multiple reasons for that the first thing can be the locator that you have provided is not the right locator there can be some spelling mistakes spaces or the values are not correct uh, there can be reasons that the web page has not loaded completely or the element is not uh, element has not loaded completely or is not visible on the web page by the time selenium tries to find the element or they can be reasons that when you created the locator while doing automation testing uh, the locator that you used was right that time but now in a new release in a new version of the application there are some changes and it has changed and therefore it is not working so there can be multiple reasons and uh, you can find out why it failed sometimes if it is just because the application is slow or the page has not loaded we can use weights there are implicit explicit weights in selenium that we will learn later but for now uh, this should be good to get you started so uh, we will also see some other options some plugins some other ways to automatically generate these locators and I will uh, teach you all this in the coming sessions so we have seen all these options find element by ID we have name xpath tag name link text partial link test text CSS etc uh, this is what we learned we can also uh, say dot clear to clear any text in the text box or the element then this is how we can find element by xpath we can simulate the keyboard key press this is also what we have learned so this is how we can get started by for interacting with elements in selenium i hope this was very useful 
in the coming sessions we will see some more options some more examples if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning